Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video, and today it is the final part of the Time Trial series finale. Okay guys, so this is the final 10 rounds, round 21 to 30 and again the level of difficulty has stepped up hugely um personally i think that maybe one of the two of the rounds need to be changed because um i have used the two ultra rare prize cards um kind of hoping that of course you guys have got them if you are this far into the challenge um it is a, it is a challenge where you need a really well balanced uh, garage um but i couldn't find other cars to win and i was like yeah i don't really want to use the prize cars but uh, there was not much of a choice uh so the the lower rq it's the chrysler 300 glacial edition now i haven't actually got the other uh, 300c with the standard tires so i hopefully that might help you win some of the rounds uh, but i haven't got it and then it was the mazda bbr um, mx5 i've had to use that as well but again, hopefully you guys have got something to replace that. Now the RQ isn't huge to use. Um, you can use epics, but you can't use a fistful of epics. Um, it kind of does make it a little bit more difficult. So unless they just increase the RQ just a little bit, um, it might not be possible for everyone to be uh, getting through this. But I suppose it has replaced the Tri-Series. Uh, and that is the plan so at the end of this challenge you will get the unique uh, pack which has three epics in i did pretty well um i'm not going to grumble but of course i will leave you to see that right at the end uh, one duplicate and two new cars one of them not so great but um you know that's that's how the game plays and i can't really complain because i have earned uh, four epics total today which is very nice uh, certainly some of them might help towards being food for the next update uh, so some surprising wins certainly the ds there grabbing that win on the hill climb i know uh, ride height is high so that does make the difference uh, but, yeah, I mean, some of the rounds I was like, ooh, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to get through this. Um, 27 was a was a fairly, fairly tough round. So, as you can see, I've used the Glacial Edition in here. I don't know if anything else can beat it. But I, I did try. Um, like I said, I am missing some of the Ultra Rares, certainly the standard tyre ones. Now, again, I have been using Epics as well. Um, the BMW has played quite a big part in my hand here. Uh, maxed 233. Uh, but I have used some Epics also that are literally just one star, which has been very nice. So when I get to use the RQ71 Jag, it is actually just 112. Um, it's a car I've never got round to maxing is on my list of max of course uh but not got there yet and as you can see here i'm using the bb turbo uh, mazda mx5 here but i think there would obviously be other cars that would win i probably went a little bit overkill here with the bm i probably could have toned it down a little bit um, and then increased on the other uh, but the Aston Martin Raptide certainly does a fair job throughout the challenge too. But you, you can also get away with no legendaries 
but I believe that some people have used the legendaries as well to get through. I'd like to hope that you guys can, and if you do, please drop drop me a comment and let me know what cars you pulled. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what cars have been given out in these uh, in these this special carbon fiber triple epic pack. It would be nice to see what everyone's been pulling. Uh, of course, it'll probably be all over Facebook and and stuff like that, um, KT Play and wherever else it will be. Uh, Discord and stuff. So don't forget, you can come and join me on my Discord channel. Uh, plenty of players have joined. Um, plenty of conversation going on. So, yeah, if you feel like it, come and join. Uh, the link is down below. Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. It uh, really means a lot to me. Certainly, I've had a big influx of subs the last few days. So, thank you very much. Uh, I know I'm just repeating what I've um, said in the other videos, but um, there's not really a great deal going on now. Um, hopefully, we're going to have the Veterans Challenge drop soon. Um, and that will be interesting to see whether or not we're going to get the Nissan dropped to an ultra-rare or not. I think that even if the Nissan drops to an ultra-rare... It's still going to be a fantastic prize car. Um, and actually, if it drops to ultra, it's a lot easier to max. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but I think I'm still going to take the Epic either way. Now, this win. Check this one. This was super close. Literally half a second in it. But that will save you your RQ for the bigger races. Uh, now, they have used the maxed CC... Speeds to there. And this BMW again just grabs it the win right at the end. 27 was a tough one. But after that it does drop off a little bit. Not too bad. Using the... Uh, the Alfa Romeo on race four. That is built 2-3-3 to win the slalom against the legendary. So, moving on to round 29. And guys, while you're here, if you do like my videos, please do drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Uh, keep following me for more Top Drive videos. I really hope that these videos have helped you. Uh, I know there's been a lot of content dropped today. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a lot of rounds to take in. But you've got a couple of days to do it. So, no rush. Just take it at your own time and build the cars that you need to build. Hopefully you can find a way through this challenge and get your three epics. I personally would like to see the time trial return again. It was a very, very nice uh, addition to the game. Uh, certainly put your cars through the paces um, and made you work hard for what is a fairly, fairly decent prize. Three epics isn't bad. Um, I know it's not a legendary, but... You know, sometimes having epics is better than having legendaries. Um, yeah. Okay, so, round 12, well, no, round 30 even. The Jaguar here, 1-1-2. One, one, so, 1-1-1 one, one, one is enough for you to win that one. 2-3-3 uh, three, three here with the Aston Martin. No, it's not an Aston Martin. It's an Alfa Romeo. <laughs> right, the RQ79 uh, BMW will also win that with the standard tyres. Uh, but it didn't leave me enough RQ to play with the rest. Mine here is built 3-3-2 on the juiced. And then finally the Aston Martin here built 
Uh, one star only. One star. So, no real problems. Now, this was my pack. And, uh, yeah, can't grumble. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you uh, next time for whenever the next Top Drive Challenge is. Take care. Bye-bye.